how to play. You will have 10 counts to figure out which measure spells the given word. On go, quickly move to the corner of the room with the measure containing the note pattern you think correctly spells the word. Round one. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word bead. of the note pattern you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause, then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round two. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word cafe. you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause, then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round three. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word deed. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause, then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round four. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word edge. of the note pattern you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause, then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round five, you have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word badge.
the note pattern you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause, then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round six. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word cage. you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause, then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round seven. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word fade. to the corner of the note pattern you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause, then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round eight. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word babe. you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause, then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round nine. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word beef. Correct, give yourself a mini round of applause, then come back to the center of the room for the next round.
Round 10. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word dead. Go to the corner of the note pattern you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause. Then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round 11. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word aced. of the note pattern you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause. Then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round 12. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word aged. you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause. Then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round 13. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word egged. you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause. Then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round 14. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word baggage.
go to the corner of the note pattern you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause. Then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round 15. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word facade. Go to the corner of the note pattern you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause. Then come back to the center of the room for the next round. Round 16. You have 10 counts to study the measures and figure out which one spells the word cabbage. of the note pattern you think spells the word. If you got it correct, give yourself a mini round of applause. Thanks for playing.